think, let me see if I can do this real quick. So he did some stuff in a testing room. And, uh... Yeah, here it is. So, this was a single flak puff. Alright, this video is supposed to display what one flak cloud looks like. And, um, you're gonna see, it's gonna pick a spot. It's gonna shoot there, but then it's gonna shoot again. So it's like, ba ba, And it'll select a different spot. Theoretically, this should be selecting a new spot every two seconds. And we're too close for the flak to spawn, so, um... You'll see something like ba 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 ba, which wouldn't make sense with a single flak cannon. So it'll shoot again there, but it'll it'll have shot out somewhere else. So when it updates its position, it's going to kind of shoot in that position for a short duration of time. Ba 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 ba, kind of stuff like that. So you know that it's warded for a duration. But then as it updates, you know you know your new position. And this is more shown uh, as the flak starts to go up. Three flak puffs. I do have a drum kit, so I mean, one would have to assume that I think of terms rhythmically. Bop, 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 bop. So it's... You can actually fly between the puffs if you time it extremely well. Uh, but it's just easier to go the fuck around it. And then, of course, obviously, uh, torpedo planes submerge, or they, they kind of go down to go under their strike, so you can place that, lack, that last group and then duck underneath it. Or with the uh, carpet bombers of the British line, you can jump over it. Uh, so it, they stop aiming at 3.5, so as you cross that like 3.6, 3.5 barrier, there might be one last flak wall stuck between you and the target, so you could leap over it, you could go under it. Uh, when it's a go through, you might just eat shit and die.